This picture shows some of the wire that you're likely to encounter in a residential setting. The yellow wire is 12 gauge Romex. It's used for outlets and other small loads. The orange wire is 10 gauge Romex. That's used for the hot water heater. And in this particular example, I have a receptacle out in the garage that it is used for. The black wire is 8 gauge. That's used for the mini split that's on the other side of the house. And then the gray wire is 6 gauge and that's going to a receptacle in the garage that could be used for welding. In this video we're going to focus in on the orange Romex wire. This is this is 10 gauge wire and it's generally used for 240 volt circuits. You can look up the resistance in a table and you'll find that it's approximately 1 ohm per 1000 feet. In this example we're going to calculate the power lost to the wire. And we're also going to calculate the voltage drop in the wire. This is what the circuit looks like. You can see it's got a source of about 240 volts and a current of about 19 amps, where the load represents the hot water heater running at full power. And for our purposes, we'll assume that the length is 50 feet. Notice that we have the two resistors there. Each one is 50 foot long. Therefore, we have 100 feet of wire total. Using dimensional analysis, we take our 100 feet of wire and we multiply it by 1, which in this case is 1 ohm, is equal to 1,000 feet, which gives us 0.1 ohms. From there, you can look at the equations on your note card. You should have one that tells you that the power is equal to I squared R, which in this particular problem is 19 squared times 0.1, which gives you about 36 watts. We can also calculate the voltage drop across the wire as a voltage times a current, which is 19 amps times that 0 0.1 ohms, which gives us about 1.9 volts.